Hi, welcome back to Lon's Rods. Going out to the barn. Show you what I worked on on the Astro Disastro van. So I'll switch this camera around and uh, fill you guys in on the work. So yeah, basically I uh, got everything lined up as far as on uh, 350s. Uh, you got two timing marks down uh, there. You want one timing mark under the vehicle and one up top on the pointer there. So figured that one out. And then uh, you drop in uh, your distributor, which it's right there. And uh, you want the distributor pointing a little bit before the number six. And when it drops in, it'll rotate, and it should be right at the six when it drops in. Make sure your oil pump, uh, it's like a flathead uh, screwdriver. You can stick down in there to line that up. So, And you want that kind of lined uh, in front of that six position there. That way it'll slide in and then rotate and lock in. A lot of guys got a bunch of different baloney on the internet. And that's the way you do it. And it drops right in and then it's timed. But the only thing is my starter took a junk so waiting for a new one tomorrow so then I can uh, fire this baby up but she's ready to fire up I'm just putzing with uh, the brake lines now I'll guys uh, keep you updated on the next video have a good one Lon's Rods okay on the 4.3 and the 350 uh, GM engines you want to make sure the timing mark is on the top and the second timing mark is on the bottom where they're lined up with your timing marks which you can see I marked it there it's like a little uh, notch uh, in the front uh, cover of the timing chain um, basically you want it on the compression stroke you can figure that out by taking the number one spark plug uh, taking it all the way out and just threading in just a, a one or two threads and when you rotate with a 15 millimeter on your harmonic balancer nut there um, counterclockwise towards the driver's side you'll hear the compression come out of that spark plug hole or you'll feel it actually it'll be tighter and when you're turn it, cranking it over by hand if you're doing this by yourself and then you, you do what I said prior in the video as far as dropping in your distributor you want it um, about an inch or two to the left of the number six uh, marking and when you drop it in it'll rotate uh, and put you right at the six number six cylinder uh, that's a mark it, you know if it's a v8 it'll be a eight but that's a six so it's a v6 thanks